This is a huge step for our school district. I know and I think we all know that it took a lot of time and energy from the many people that helped design the solar panels. They made it possible for Trails Outdoors School and many other Ashland schools to have power for our ventilation, our AC units, our lights, and all our electricity. So now all the students can learn in their Ashland schools without polluting the environment for our future. As a student here at Trails, I know how proud we are all are to see our school district making a movement towards eco-friendly electricity. I hope this sort of project can continue in our district and many other school districts around the country for the benefit of our planet. Trail students, it's so great to see you folks here today to help us celebrate this. What do you think? Yeah. Let me hear it. All right. It's great to have our trail middle schoolers here today. Well, it is my pleasure uh, to share that our new ground-mounted solar array uh, right here at the southeast corner of uh, Amos and Trails Campus is operational. The district is honoring our commitment to align our 2018 bond with the City of Ashland's Climate and Energy Action Plan. Uh, it's a substantial accomplishment. I want to thank and recognize a few folks. First of all, Jim Bauer, where is, there he is. Hi, Jim, and all your students. So thank you guys for helping make this possible. You are indeed our environmental stewards and our future, so thank you. I also want to thank and recognize a couple of other folks who have helped make uh, this possible. Mike Freeman from HMK, somewhere around here. Um, the folks from Adroit Construction, George, Nancy, and their team. Yeah. Architects Chris Brown and Jane Alexander and their team. Yeah. Our Executive Director of Operations, Steve Mitzel, uh, and Facilities Manager, Robbie Moles and all of the other district staff that have helped make this possible. It's pretty awesome. Um, and most importantly, our community of Ashland <clears throat> that continues to believe in us and support our schools through the bond, through projects of this nature. Uh, it's really an incredible uh, gift to our schools from our community. So I want to tell you just a little bit about this new structure. Most 288 individual panels that have already produced up to 168 kilowatts during peak production. The ground mounted array and location were selected carefully to minimize impact and use of district space, as you can see, which is pretty awesome. Uh, the solar field will provide power to all of the trail school right over there, uh, which is pretty exciting as well. So we're excited to share the Ashton School District. We are, in fact, looking at other ways that we can uh, continue to develop solar projects. Um, and so that's something that we can plan to continue as we move forward in the future to reduce our energy footprint and, and be better stewards of the environment. Um, so it's pretty exciting. I wanted to introduce uh, some of the folks that helped put all of this together. Uh, the True South Solar Team. Thank you very much. I didn't expect to be talking today. Um, well, we are very proud to not only help uh, Trails School and National School District create this beautiful array, but we're hoping to be able to do it in multiple locations for you guys so you can offset as much energy as possible. We're really proud of this location. We're proud of the work and partnership we had with the Droit and the district, and we look forward to um, doing walkthroughs and answering all the questions we can about solar. All right, <laughs> countdown. Ready? Ready? Let's count them down. Three, Three, two, two one. one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so that